Welcome back, my friends. Today I'm going to show you how to take a photo and turn it into a sketch or something a little bit more dramatic, like an etched photo like this. So stay tuned. All right, so we are going to start off with a uh, workspace that is the size of 1280 by 720. This is a YouTube thumbnail. This is the size that is working well for me because when I design, I have more room. But if you know the size of your design, then you should choose the size that you're going to use when printing. So in any case, I'm just going to get right down to the meats and potatoes of this uh, tutorial. I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to choose a photo um, of a grandma. This one, this picture right here. I had recently chose this one and I just really, really like this photo. So um, now that we have our photo, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our apps section and you're going to search for an app called Photo. It's called Photo to Sketch, but you can just type in photo. So this is what it looks like right here. It's called photo to sketch and it's got a kitten with a that's half photo half um, sketch. So I'm going to select that. And the best part about this app is that you can just select an image. Uh, you don't have to upload it. But if you have an image on your computer, you can upload it as well into that app. Um, so I've got my image selected and I'm just going to come here now. The filter strength, um, basically, the uh, lower your number, the darker or the thicker the sketch lines are going to be. Um, so I'll start off with one just to show you that difference. And I'll say transform and replace. And I'm also going to select uh, to have a transparent background. And I'll just click the purple button. And we'll just wait for those results. Abracadabra. Now, while we're waiting for that, I have opened up my YouTube channel memberships. Click the join button and see if there's a membership level right for you. I go live every Tuesday uh, to have classes with my adult learners and um, we do some great stuff. And if you have any suggestions for other tutorials, you can also leave that in the comments. All right, so there is that sketch. Now that is at uh, filter strength one. OK, so I'm just going to leave that there and I'm just going to add another page and uh, I'm going to bring that design uh, or that photo in my on my workspace again. And let's go back to apps and I'm just going to choose that and go back to photo um, to sketch. And now I'm going to choose five, which is the maximum filter strength. And let's see what that looks like now. Just so that we can do a comparison. I'll do the comparison and then you can go right to the number that you like. How's that? If you're liking this tutorial, don't forget to press the like and subscribe button. All right, so this is the sketch at level a filter strength five. So um, let's I'm just going to reduce my zoom so that you can see the comparison between the two. So this is level one and this is level five. Now level five I find is the perfect level if you want to turn any photo into a coloring page. This is perfect because um, kids can just color in there. And you know what? I say kids, but you know what? If adults want to color, they can also color too. Um, I'm going to do one more thing with this image and I'm going to go back to my elements and I'm going to place this image back on top because I want to try something with you to see if you like this or not. But anyhow, I'm going to come into transparency and I'm going to turn the transparency of the original photo down and then I'm going to try and match it up like that. And I'm going to push that photo uh, in behind just to um, push it in behind that in, that uh, sketch. And it kind of looks like almost an etched sketch, uh, if you want to call that. 
So what do you think of the app and what do you think of the end result here? Um, what do you think of the ability to take a photo and change it into a sketch? Let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. All right. So that is pretty much it for today. I thank you for joining me and don't forget to check those membership levels by pressing that join button. For now, my friends, I will say bye bye until next time.